the Be Quiet, Silent Wings 4 series has taken the market by surprise, with a low noise output, great performance out of the box and a hefty price tag. In this review we have both the Silent Wings 4 and the Silent Wings 4 Pro and we shall see how good they truly are. The Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 is the next generation of Be Quiet fans, sporting multiple models and dimensions as well as a new unimproved impeller design that is meant to perform on both radiators and cases. However, the highlight of the Silent Wings 4 Pro is the variable speed, which is controlled either through software or a switch. Yes, a switch that will trigger the three pre-installed maximum speeds of the fan. And let's not forget the improved mounting system that allows you to install the fan pretty much anywhere. These fans are packing a lot of new technology and design elements, and it shows, especially in the price. Right now, the Silent Wings 4 120PWM high speed is available for no less than 24 US dollars, and if you want the Silent Wings Pro 4 120mm PWM, then you have to pay 32 US dollars for just one fan. Mind you, it sounds like a lot, but comparable fans are no cheaper. The Noctua NFA 12X25 PWM can be bought for 33 US dollars and the Fantex T30 is close to 40 US dollars. Thus, in the grand scheme of things, the Be Quiet Selling Wings 4 are not more expensive than the competition. From a design perspective, these fans are gorgeous, they use a matte black finish on everything including the cables and wires, and these fans have no RGB, none. Of course, you can get the RGB variant of the Silent Wings, but we're not reviewing those in this video. The impellers have a new arrangement that is optimized to offer better static pressure and airflow. This is the same design as what is trending nowadays in terms of impeller shapes. A design started all the way back to the Gentle Tycoon days and now improved by Noctua. However, just because a fan has those impellers does not automatically mean that it will be a great fan. When you look for a high performance fan, especially one that will be installed in either a tight space or on a radiator or heatsink, you need to look at a few things, one of them being the space between the tip of the impellers and the inner part of the fan frame. The smaller the space is, the less static pressure leakage the fan will have and the better performance you will get. And in the case of the Silent Wings 4, this gap is small, as small as it can be without going the Noctua route and invent a new material to prevent impeller creeping. One of the new features found on these Silent Wings 4 series fans is the interchangeable mounting system and this is where the first differences between the regular Silent Wings 4 and the Pro model come into play. The Pro variant comes with three mounting systems included, the square frame corners being already pre-installed on the fan while the other two are stored in a cardboard tray. The regular Silent Wings 4 has two mounting systems, both made for low noise operation and case usage, while the Pro has its square frame mounting points that make the fan compatible with radiator and CPU coolers. Another difference between these two fans is the speed control switch that is only installed on the Pro variant. You heard it right, a switch that will set the fan at a preset speed. This switch is rather inconveniently placed at the back of the fan frame and has three positions that are 43 speeds available for this fan, 1600 rpm, 2500 rpm and 3000 rpm. However, you can just leave the fan set at 3000 rpm, which is the maximum value, and control the speed throughout the motherboard or a fan hub or both. Both the Silent Wings 4 and the Pro variant use a fluid dynamic bearing system and a 6-pole motor. The entire system is rated for over 300,000 hours of usage, so in terms of reliability, we are all set. In terms of the cables and wires, both fans have an all-black cable, which is protected by good quality sleeving. However, even here, there are some differences between the Pro and regular variant of the Silent Wings 4. The Pro fan has an over-engineered 4-pin connector that will refuse to break under any circumstances, while the regular Silent Wings 4 has a normal 4-pin cable. When we talk about the accessories, there's plenty to say. Both fans will get a user manual, 4 Phillips screws for mounting the fans to the case, 4 plastic push pins for the rubber mounting system and 4 rubber washers. However, this is where the similarities end accessory-wise, as the fans, as I've said previously in the video, will come with different mounting systems. The regular Silent Wings 4 fan will have two mounting systems, one pre-installed and one included. Both systems are ideal for a low noise operation and are mostly made from plastic and rubber, while the Pro variant of the Silent Wings 4 has three mounting systems, one pre-installed and two included. The pre-installed system will create a square fan frame and make the fan ideal for radiator and heatsink usage. Ok, that's enough talking about the design and what is included, let's talk business, or in this case, let's talk performance, and in this review, instead of mounting the fans on a CPU cooler, I will measure the airflow and static pressure using a dedicated wind meter and a basic wind tunnel. 
and the first test is a simple airflow test with the fan and the wind meter and no restrictions in between them. And here the Silent Wings 4 Pro is on the second position at its maximum rated RPM, right behind the almighty Fantex T30 also running at maximum RPM. However, when we have both fans limited to 1000 RPM, the performance gap is smaller as 1% between them which is impressive to say the least. When we talk about the performance of the regular Silent Wings 4, it's not that far behind when both fans are at 1000 RPM but it loses quite a bit of airflow when running at its maximum speed. That is thanks to the maximum speed differences between the Silent Wings 4 and the Pro variant. However, this is the airflow with no restrictions. How about a small 25mm thick radiator? Well, things are different here, as the differences between the maximum RPM and 1000 RPM is considerable for both the Silent Wings 4 and the 4 Pro variant. Still, both fans are on the top part of the chart, ahead of both Noctua flagship fans. The noise output at maximum RPM is interesting to say the least. In the case of the Silent Wings Pro 4, which is running at 3000 RPM, the maximum noise output is 48 decibels with the measuring device placed at the standard distance of 10 cm away. And when we look at the regular Silent Wings 4, it has a maximum noise output of 42 decibels. The Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 Pro is an exceptional fan. It brings out improvements over the Silent Wings 3 models and comes with no less than 3 different mounting systems. However, the biggest feature of this fan is the performance on both a radiator and as a case fan. The Silent Wings Pro 4 was only bested by the Fantex T30 running at maximum RPM. Speaking of maximum RPM, as no fan can be silent at close to 3000 RPM, neither is the Silent Wings Pro 4 at close to 48 decibels. However, it's not like you will hold this fan at a maximum RPM speed all the time, and when we talk about the noise levels at lower RPM, then the noise output lowers to around 27 decibels, which is great for all around usage. However, for all this performance and good looks, you will have to pay, and that will be the drawback of this fan for many people, even though when we look at other performance oriented fans, the price is right around the average. All this being said, if you want a performance oriented fan that has no RGB, then the Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 and the Be Quiet Silent Wings Pro 4 are a great choice. If you don't need the Silent Wings Pro 4 level of performance, you can always get the non pro variant for less money but with a similar performance. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and also if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Substarter Star pages of this channel.